Guys, this crime scene is huge, spanning all the way to the beginning of San Antonio at Pan American to here, where police say the suspect was hit. Now, dozens of people were caught in this area at the time, and they say their experience was surreal. And I guess came walking in the door and said they just heard a bunch of gunshots. I would have never thought I would have been in a situation like this. It's pretty kind of close to home, you know, like right outside, you know, a stray bullet could have came and hit one of us. James Morris was about to leave Cracker Barrel when a manager came in and told him he was not allowed to leave. We all started to talk and then some elderly folks that was outside of Cracker Barrel told us that there was a um, possible suspect waving a gun. Police shut down the entire block of San Antonio Drive and locked down the Cracker Barrel with around 40 people inside. APD says they were pursuing a suspect running away from them with a gun. A couple of people said that they saw the suspect actually run from a vehicle, ran behind the building, got shot by the police. Morris says the Cracker Barrel guests were inside waiting to be released for an hour and a half. Other businesses in the area said they suffered on Friday from the police blockade that lasted more than four hours. I was having a pretty good day today during the uh, lunch rush and then this happened and everything just screeched to a halt. APD said the chase came to a sudden end when the suspect tried to carjack a woman's car at gunpoint in the parking lot of this building. Police say at least one officer fired at the suspect. Both the female driver and suspect were hit in the leg. Officers say they have non-life-threatening injuries. Now, as you can see, investigators are still blocking off this area. They told us that it would still be a few hours before the investigation concurs. Live in Northeast Albuquerque, Chris Bordaro, KOAT Action 7 News.